Well, on Wednesday, President Obama is going to make his first visit during his presidency to a suburban Baltimore mosque. The trip raising some eyebrows, considering that mosques apparently has extremist ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Wow. Well, joining us now to weigh in is the founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, Dr. Zudi Jasser. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Jasser. It's good to be with you. Uh, what do you know mm -hmm. about this mosque? Ties to terrorism? How? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, as American Muslim, I'm just insulted. It's disgraceful that this is one of the mosques, or the mosque that he's picked to be the first visit. The Islamic Society of Baltimore, first of all, if you go to their website, it's like a covert operation. There's no name on it. It basically has pictures of individuals, but no names. They had an imam, Muhammad al-Sheikh, who was there from 83 to 89, and then another 10 years, was directly came out of the Muslim Brotherhood in Sudan, has had uh, an online imam, uh, sermons in which he basically excused Palestinian suicide bombing. He then went into fill and he was the guy who took over a Dar al Hijra mosque in Northern Virginia after Awlaki left. And I'll remind you, Awlaki is the uh, imam that declared war in the United States, yep. radicalized Nidal Hassan and so many other Americans against our country. So this mosque is very concerning. They are very uh, um, into gender apartheid. That Imam Yassin Sheikh in 2013 has a YouTube sermon from just two years ago calling homosexuals basically psychological deviants, a disorder, and, and basically espousing a very extreme uh, opinion about mm -hmm. homosexuality, which I would think is that divergence from the president's position on that. Sure. Okay. So that's where he's going. Uh, the White House says he's going to meet with Muslim leaders. But you say, you told one of our producers, this is just a political stunt. It really is. I mean, look at the time he picked to do this. It's right before the national prayer breakfast. He's using our Muslim community as a backdrop, partisan politics, to basically check the box that, oh, he's with the Muslim community. Not the normal ones, basically the radical ones, but forget that. He's with the Muslim community, against those bigots, etc. when in fact... The countries he causes up to be Iran or Saudi Arabia, mosques in America that are in bed with governments like Iran, Saudi Arabia, Diobandis of Pakistan, are actually against diversity in our faith. So he insults our community by cozying up to radicals who have extreme views incompatible with America. They believe in the Sharia state. I mean, let's see how this mosque operates. They separate men and women. They're into gender apartheid, anti-homosexual rights. So... That's who represents us Muslims, and he's using it as a backdrop to say, oh, the pictures this week of him meeting with Muslims, talking about diversity, talking about equality, will make Republicans look bad. So our Muslim community is all about a backdrop of partisan one-upsmanship rather than real reform that the president should lead domestically and globally. An exit question, Dr. Jasser. Do you think the president will try to get these Muslim Americans to stand up and speak out against radical Islam and, and differentiate themselves? Uh, at not only no, but hell no, because he's picking a mosque that ignores our Muslim reform movement, ignores Muslims that want to reform against theocracy, against political Islam. Go to their website. This is a very uh, a shell, you know, covered mosque that doesn't uh, want to put forth an ideology of reform. I mean, that's not a place that this is going to happen. And historically, as I mentioned before, they are basically a radical yep. extreme mosque and not representative of the modern Muslims in America. Well, he's heading that way on Wednesday. Dr. Jasser, thank you very much for joining us today from Phoenix.